Team Norway, what a great win. That was absolutely masterclass from the whole team. Sturla, starting with you, you opened the relay. How important is this result as the last competition before the Olympics? Yes, of course, it's, uh, it's a very important relay. This is the last one before the Olympics and uh, just builds confidence when we all do four good legs. We know what we are capable of and we can do it again in the Olympics. And uh, how did you feel out there? I felt quite good, but uh, it's always a bit more stress in uh, the shooting range, especially with altitude. So had some mistakes in standing, but all in all, uh, happy with my leg. You should be. Congratulations. <laughs> Tari, you brought the team to the top and uh, built some advantage. Uh, can you tell us about the strategy of today's competition from your side? Yeah, it was quite... When you have Sturla in front, you're quite uh, safe, you know. You know, even if he have a good day or medium day, he's still up there, you know, with such a low, low, high level, uh, natural level. So I was prepared to go out uh, in the front together with a couple of other nations and it sort out the way I thought it would become. Um, and I had prepared a lot for the standing because I was quite sure I would be alone for the standing today. And then it happened and then I was, I was quite... Uh, yeah, I was feeling good because I had done this so many times in my head already. So I did what I planned and um, it seems like uh, the preparations were good and then it's easy also to do it uh, when it happens. Now it's been a very solid season for you so far. You took the individual globe the other day. How are you feeling going uh, and what are your expectations going into Beijing? Yeah, it's been quite stable, as you say, you know, it's been podiums uh, from the first race uh, almost until the last. Uh, so I feel confident and I feel I have the level to do something big in uh, in Beijing. But, you know, I haven't I haven't won this season either. So, you know, it's, it's small margins. Uh, I have a high uh, podium level, but uh, not the highest victory level still. So. For me, it's also small things to work The lines are quite, uh, quite strong. Thanks, congratulations and good luck. Johannes, that was masterclass, absolutely. Uh, how do you feel when you succeed like today? Uh, yeah, you feel... Uh, what can you say? It, it's like uh, you're satisfied with yourself since you bring your team in a good position. So. I guess that's uh, what I like the most, to put Vettle in a good position. Yesterday already looked really good on the skis. Today, everything kind of planned together. Again, also for you, does that motivate or change your approach to Beijing? Yeah, it uh, can go into the Beijing uh, games with the lower shoulders. Uh, to have a clean shooting, it... Uh, it just brings a lot of uh, positive energy for each athlete that can make it. So, finish off today with uh, three laps here in Antols with a clean shooting and a lot of kilometers pushing. Now we can relax for the next week and a half and uh, we go in the end of the month to uh, China. And uh, I, I cross my fingers that I will have my best, best days uh, in my career so far there. Well, enjoy some much deserved rest then. Vettle, what a fantastic performance by the whole team, by yourself. You almost could enjoy the last loop. How important is this result before Beijing? Oh yeah, it, it was a great performance from, from all the guys. I think, I think it's one of our best relays, at least in, in my career. Uh, almost winning by two minutes. Uh, it's like a, a dream. And, and now, especially before the, the last relay before the Olympics, uh, we won the two races before. Uh, we were a little bit lucky with the IBU guys in the Europa League, but now we're back with the win. So it gains a lot of uh, self-confidence uh, before the Olympics. And also in the, in the Relay Cup, we, we set this very high. So we're very happy to win here. You should be. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Team Russia, great effort to be on the podium today. Anton, you started, you opened, and uh, there were some troubles with, uh, with the pole. Can you tell us what happened there? Uh, yeah, it was uh, um, uh, some bad moment, but we have uh, today a lot of uh, unlucky moments in the relay. 
but we hope that it will be stay here and uh, for next race our team will just lucky everywhere. So I didn't think about uh, this part of race now because uh, we are finished in the top and uh, it's a nice moment on the, all my mind now only about this. And about the nice moment, uh, it's been quite a week for you. What are the feelings you leave in Antos now? Uh, yeah, sure. It was a uh, really great uh, a cup for me. Uh, really great races here. I'm proud of this and uh, will try to relax a bit and uh, grow up more and more because uh, Sure, it's uh, some, somewhere I, I was lucky, somewhere I was uh, strong maybe, but uh, for next race I need to uh, grow up. Thank you, congratulations. Uh, Edward, what a crazy final loop and a great display of energy, especially after not being able to compete for a while. How important was this last loop? Эдуард, невероятный просто сумасшедший последний круг от вас. Много энергии вы отдали на этом круге. Тем более после немного вне соревновательного периода, да, у вас не было соревновательного периода. Что для вас это значит? Как вы можете оценить свою гонку? Ну, гонку я оценю на хорошо, да, есть недочеты, конечно, и положительный момент, что в плане функционального состояния было сегодня все хорошо и получилось отработать хорошо финиш. Был, да, большой перерыв, но хорошо, что я пробежал еще вчера гонку, то есть получил небольшую эту соревновательную практику перед отъездом в Пекин и надеюсь, что форум будет возвращаться и самочу все будет все лучше и лучше. Yeah, in general, I can uh, say um, that competition went well for me and the last loop, uh, it was uh, quite well. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't have that much en energy because I didn't compete uh, for a few weeks, uh, uh, but that's good that I competed yesterday and I could get some uh, practice. Um, I really hope that I can improve uh, for the next competitions and that everything is going to be fine. Thank you, congratulations and good luck. German team, congratulations, a very strong team performance overall. Uh, Philip. Uh, it's great to see you back in How important is this result? Uh, it's very important for me, uh, especially the last weeks were, were a bit disappointed for me. Uh, my big goal, the Olympics, is gone. So that's, for me, this uh, success means a lot and it gives me a lot of good motivation for the next races. And uh, how did you watch the last loop? Because it was quite a for your teammates? Yes, I, I was first uh, out of the shooting range and then I knew, okay, uh, Antona and the Russian guy will, will close the gap to me and then we are a group of three. And I was trying to do a good pace, uh, but not uh, all I had because I knew the attacks will come in the end of the loop. Um, and they did. I tried everything I had to... Uh, uh, to be with them, but in the end it was just a little gap for David, but I'm very satisfied with my race. You should be, congratulations. David, it seems like Rupolding really transformed you, very confident today. Can you tell us about today's competition and uh, the feelings you have? Yeah, it was an amazing race. It is always cool to be in the relay. Uh, with these three guys, it was just a lot of fun with this weather and this uh, beautiful landscape. It, yeah, it was an amazing day. Um, it was hard for me the first loop because uh, against logging off and this two is not the easiest uh, uh, guys. So, yeah, I knew I cannot uh, ski with them completely, but I tried to concentrate on my prone shooting. That was really good. And then, yeah, in standing, it was hard with, with this. Uh, uh, guys, but yeah, in the end I'm quite happy. I died a little bit in my last loop, but uh, yeah, I did it to the finish and it was quite cool. After, you know, quite a U Cup and uh, now battling with these champions, how much confidence does it give to you? Definitely a lot because, uh, yeah, it's always you just see them in the TV and you think, how could it be possible to ski with them? It's way too fast for me and finally you're here and yeah, you still know they are really, really fast, but it's uh, like, yeah, okay. Sometimes I just them and it's, it works uh, quite good for me, so that uh, gives me a lot of uh, confidence. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot.